This will probably be a little bit of a, a small stream. It's already 7 Eastern. Look at me. Professional streamer already dating my streams. What do we got? Uh, we had the... Oh, no. That's the wrong, the wrong one. Oh, yeah. I plopped it in the first one. So, I think I know which mission I want to do, mostly because of a hidden part. Um, first things first, though, let's look at the shop, um, see what we can burn some credits on. I think I... Yeah, I think I kind of want this. Let's see if I can even put that on. some things to sell but we'll leave that alone for now bum, 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 bum. 
Okay, so... I'm only doing this because there's a hidden part that I think I might want. So... We are going to look for it and then complete the mission, hopefully. Main system engaging combat mode. Enemy aircraft approaching. Number of planes, five. So apparently it's at a northeast corner or something like that, so... Oh right, there's a compass. <laughs> well... Lock destroyed. Combat operations halted. Welp. I went the wrong way. We will try that again. I probably should kill them in the middle. Main system engaging combat mode. Enemy aircraft approaching. Number of planes, five. Would you people please? Those of you who remember my Shadow Tower LP will remember my disdain for flying enemies. Combat operations yeah, that was, halted. That was terrible. bad.
Me and my disdain for like flying enemies. On the flip side, I am very barely taking damage, and that is a good thing. Main system engaging combat mode. Enemy aircraft approaching. Number of planes, five. AC booster obtained. Lock destroyed. Damn it. Combat operations halted. So I found the hidden part. All right, cool. I wonder if I actually keep it. Indeed, I do. Hmm. I was expecting it to... to eat it. On that. Let's see what these boosters do. Main system engaging test mode.
Target demolished. Halting test mode. You know, failing that mission might have been just fine for me having this uh this booster. I'm gonna save this on um number two. And we'll try to, uh, actually eat the mission. Main system engaging combat mode. Enemy aircraft approaching. Number of planes, five. Every time I lock on, they slip out of my grasp. AC booster obtained.
second wave approaching. Aircraft and MTs. Total, four. Destroyed. Combat operations halted. Not a better outcome than I had, so we'll try it one more time to say. I think I got it. I'm gonna have to use a bunch of missiles for the flying dudes. Main system engaging combat mode. Enemy aircraft approaching. Number of planes, five. Okay, so northeast. AC booster obtained.
Second wave approaching. Aircraft and MTs. Total, four. Destroyed. God damn it. Combat operations halted. I guess I should just go after the MTs first then. Main system engaging combat mode. Enemy aircraft approaching. Number of planes, five. Okay, north, east. AC booster obtained.
second wave approaching. Aircraft and MTs. Total, four. Combat Damn operations it. halted. It's really annoying. Wonder if I destroyed it that time. Main system engaging combat mode. Enemy aircraft approaching. Number of planes, five. Alright, northeast. Let's go get the thing. AC booster obtained. Second wave approaching. Aircraft and MTs. Total, four.
Target of operation cleared. System switched to normal mode. Now that is good times. I will take that. You have new mail. And a new booster. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna save it. <laughs> save data. We have mail, so let's read that. Factory Affair Report from Chrome. We have received the report on the battle. You did quite a job. We didn't expect so much firepower to be thrown into the fight, but the fact that you managed to repulse them all by yourself was amazing. I like it. To tell the truth, we thought of you ravens as no more than convenient throwaways. I mean... But I guess we will have to rethink our position. Well, anyway, good job. That's all. Nothing like a pat on the back. Let's take a look at the rankings. See if anybody new has shown up. Los Vese has moved down. Wolf has gone up one. She kicked her butt. Valkyrie is a very scary raven. And I, me, me, has got into the rank seven. And what it says is, has a mission success rate much higher than the other new ravens should rise in rank with experience. Should probably name our raven.
Now, we should have our new booster. That's super cool. So our AC is now above average in its grade. Congratulations to us. Um, pretty good mobility. Turning speed has gone to 1330. Decent. Um, can be better, I think. We have a great gun. Um, I'm always frustrated at, at missiles, but I'm, I'm glad I had them in the last one, so I guess they get to stay. I wonder if there's a better, better sword. Let's see what we have next for missions. So we have three. One of these is the very famous one that everybody memes about. Uh, the first one is Guard Wharf Warehouse from Murakuma Millennium. We want you to guard a new type of radar for ACs that we have developed. A prototype model is now stored in the warehouse at the wharf, but for some reason, the security system does not function at all. Womp womp. There is a good chance that someone intentionally sabotaged the system. It's probably the work of Chrome agents, those jerkwads. You must protect the radar for your mission to succeed. We do not know the enemy's target, but you must not let them steal or destroy the radar. Do not let anyone near the warehouse until the system is restored. We are counting on you, Raven. And let's see what else we've got. Some parts from Murakuma Millennium. AC parts are on the table. The gang Dark Soul broke into our property at Heaven's Rock stole several tanks and fled. Since they stole tanks, we cannot leave them alone. Those jerks. Go and defeat them as soon as possible. Judging from their direction of escape, they seem to be hiding in Zom Desert. In that area, many mines remain, left from the war. Be very careful. Note that your pay for this mission is not in cash, but in AC parts. Now, one thing that, I know everybody memes about this, but um, according to interviews with like the one guy from Age Tech that uh, another YouTuber, uh, their channel name is, we review every PS2 game, oh God. Uh, they interviewed one guy who worked for Age Tech for a while and they found him on LinkedIn actually. And one of the things they said was that Sony dictated that names needed to be changed from for localization purposes i'm not quite sure why but so i'm not really sure whether the the gang dark soul is named dark soul by fromsoft or by htech
Either way, it's pretty funny. Now, the optional part from reading the guide seems pretty neat, so, I mean, that might be something we need to use. Uh, the next one is Stop Security MT from Earth... Hey, Virus of War! How's it going? Nice to see you! I like that emoji. It's very cute. Earth Environmental Reclamation Committee, 38,000, have a mission for you regarding the old military facility where we previously sent a survey team. The survey of the first basement level is complete, but a passage thought to lead to the lower levels was found during survey. It's a pretty intense map there. Also, what the heck is that MT? However, just past it was an extremely powerful security MT that we could not defeat with our weapons. Oddly, it never comes out of the passage to attack us. It seems to be protecting something. Anyway, this facility still has many mysteries. And security panels. Security MTs, control panels, no. Um, we'll try the Dark Soul mission, because a free reward is a free reward, and that's always good. Um, so yeah, we've got really not a whole lot to lose. step from soft game. I need to get back into um, my copies of Verdict Day and, and Vive and try to remember how to like wall climb. Like I haven't really touched my copies of V or Verdict Day since I got them in, like, 2017. So, like, I don't know. I've got to really, <laughs> I've got to really work. I'm really excited. I'm not, I'm not, like, amazing at this game, but I'm excited area. for it. Many mines have been planted in this area. Very careful in your movements. Main system engaging combat mode. That's a lot of mines.
Target of operation cleared. System switched to normal mode. Yes, I have. Um, I have three of them. Or do I have two of them? Three. Okay, I have three of them. Um, so, if you want to read them, read them. They're on Medium. I also created videos for them, so they're on my channel. Um, so, um, the Come and See, which is the apocalypse of From Software, is the first one. Uh, Polarity is the second one. And... Firmament Unyielding is the third one. Uh, one is about sort of the apocalypse imagery in Elden Ring. And then the second one is kind of an exploration of the dualities within Elden Ring, all the twins, all the, all the different polarities going on, the push and pull. Um, Melania and Mikella are kind of polar opposites, but they're twins. They're, they're bound together because they're like they're north and south or yin or yang or light and dark and then you've got a lot of different polarities kind of hanging around Elden Ring and so that's my second one and the third one is more or less about the cosmos um, a lot of a lot of Elden Ring focuses on the mishmash of astrology and astronomy because for a long time they were basically the same thing. And it's it's also funny because we consider it a pseudoscience now with horoscopes and um, the same tier as like Meyer Briggs charts and stuff like that. But, you know, for a long, long time, the horoscope was the cosmos and it was fate and the stars dictated fate. And so that's what this is one aspect of firmament unyielding it's like a it's an hour long thing but like elden ring really focuses on the mishmash of astronomy and astrology and while it assumes that the stars are kind have a sort of sapiens and are dictating this or that just like how our forebears might have thought with horoscopes and stuff elden ring kind of takes it as truth and so it also introduced really, really slyly all of this astrophysics that are kind of hanging out under the surface um, that are really interesting to know. And considering, I believe, that uh, the Divine Towers are part and parcel of one big radio telescope that we may or may not see. Who knows? Um, but it definitely gave me some Arecibo radio telescope vibes. So I go into that too, as well as I go into some St. Thomas Aquinas and his seven, seven heavens. So hopefully you enjoy those three. Um, I've got a couple more in my back burner, but I really got to finish my Kingsfield 4 essay first. The only reason I haven't finished not, <laughs> am like not doing that right now is I'm waiting for a new mic to show up. Um... So yeah, I'm getting a new mic. I've invested into something that isn't a like a blue snowball ice. So the snowball is going to my PS5 permanently, and the new one is going to be here. So um, we'll see. So hopefully you enjoy those. Um, they're really long and involved. So yeah, and Aegon's. I've been I've been following Aegon's playthrough because it's I'm. Aegon's playthrough and Patty the One Bros playthrough have been just wonderful rides. If you don't know him, Patty the One Bro is doing Elden Ring blind at SL1. So him watching him discover cheese strategies has been just the funniest thing. Alright, so we got new stuff. Um, should have been an optional part, according to the guides. <sighs> Lock on time. Thank God. Thank God. Now we're cooking with gas. And yeah, Ronnie's ending really did um, foment 
a lot of what I th was thinking about with regards to the cosmos. The cosmos definitely didn't care, so. Give it a read. Let me know what you think. That'd be great. Or if you don't want to read, I'll read it to you. Or, or have Medium read it to you. One or the other, I guess. We're still in the top 10. Aw, snap. We're still here. All right, let us give a quick test to our AC, see how much faster everything feels, because while I could crunch the numbers, doesn't really mean anything if I don't like how it feels, so let's take a look at this. Main system, engaging test mode. Target demolished. Halting test mode. Definitely not bad. Still don't like flying enemies. I don't think I ever will. Them's the brakes, really. I think it's time to change the color. That's something. Should I be a dragon? Oh, very festive. I like that. It's very festive. <laughs> Poison fruit. Thank you. Thank you, from soft. You read tissue, so here's toxic. Vulgar taste. Here's rot. Okay, great. We'll go with the festive one. It's great. It's only 26,000, so I, I could sell some things. Yeah, it's very direct. It's 
it's a, it's a big generator. Listen. Also, listen. I'm so happy. <laughs> we are in a From Software Renaissance. People are playing Armored Core now for the first time. People are like, hey, hey, Theo, uh, where should I start with Armored Core? And I'm like, yay, Armored Core is coming. And then, like, Elden Ring doing so well at the uh, the Game Awards. It's a fun time. Hopefully now people will, will dig further into the f old From Software catalog. Realize that Enchanted Arm and Otogi are both backwards compatible on Xbox. And you can play that, like, right now. Let's try this. I'm jealous of people who can play Otogi. I actually own Otogi, but I don't own an Xbox. And from what I've heard, Xbox emulation is a, a dumpster fire. So eventually I'm going to have to end up just buying an Xbox Series X or something. Just throwing it in there. I really need to get around. I think next year I'm gonna stop procrastinating and buy all the stuff I need to buy to the stuff I need to buy to like stream out of my PS3. So that I can finally LP my PS3 games like Enchanted Arm. Yeah, that's right. Enchanted Arm. Ever wanted to know what a JRPG from From Software would be would look like? It's Enchanted Arm. Main system engaging combat mode. Raven, there is a total of three control panels. Destroy all three as soon as you find them. That's some computer voice.
Yeah, that's where my Vanguard is from. If you know how... Like, Xenosaga works... Could I just boogie through this? No. Oh yeah, so I was saying, um, if you know how Xenosaga 1 and 2 work, then you'll know exactly how Enchanted Arm works. What the hell am I locking on to? So, like, it's a JRPG that's all about positioning and, like, tactics and, like, doing the teamwork thing. Very similar to Xenosaga. I played a lot of Xenosaga. The funniest story about, like, stuff is that when I was a kid, KB Toys was, uh going out of business and um, I went there because you, you do that back in the early aughts um, to vulture for video games so I bought Final Fantasy 7 so I have a pristine copy of Final Fantasy 7 with a black spine and uh, Xenosaga 1 guess what I played a crap ton of and did not play a whole lot of I should get around to seven eventually. It work. I'm trying to figure out something here out. mission is this? We'll come back to this, I think. Yeah, so KB Toys, I, I like bought a couple of video games, and one of those was Xenosaga 1, and one of those was Final Fantasy 7. Apparently I'm huge on procrastination because I've owned 7 for like 20 years now, and uh, never really played it. <laughs> 
But yeah, um, Enchanted Arm works pretty much just like Xenosaga. We'll do this one first. Yeah, eight you can break pretty much like ten seconds into the game. Also, Norg did nothing wrong. So here we are protecting some radar for Mudokumo Millennium. Any of you guys in the Northeast? We're getting a nor'easter. Main system engaging How combat mode. How fun! Enemy fighters approaching. Number of planes five. Great, just freaking peachy. Second wave approaching. Fighters and MTs, total three. Third wave approaching. Three MTs.
security system is back up. Thank you for your help. Target of operation cleared. System switched to normal mode. Great. Just, just peachy. So according to the rankings now, we are still number seven at 7,000 points. Um, that mission just opened up three new ones. Wow, 5,000, that's it? 5,000 credits? Really? Are you serious? Are you serious, game? <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. We already went through the rankings. Still at number seven. Thirty percent shop. Yeah, I'm going to be wrapping up in just a bit because we've been going on for an hour or so, and it's already like almost eight thirty my time. Um, so I'm just looking at some things real fast. Uh, damage from energy ram is not what I want. Hmm, 45. We'll buy that. Um, that should increase our damage. We're going to test this out real fast, and then we'll wrap up. It took, what, six... Six shots from the Karasawa to kill them beforehand. So if we get at least Main four. System. Engaging test mode. Oh, well, there we go. That's four. Four hits from the Karasawa. Yep, four. Target demolished. Freaking amazing. That's really beefed up my Karasawa. It's basically what? A one third increase? Yeah, it's about a one-third increase in damage. Alright, so let's read the new missions and then we'll, we'll wrap up for the night. We've got a pretty long to-do list. And no one has sent us any mail. So we've read Stop Ex uh, Security MTs. 
If nothing else was there, I probably would have done that now, but whatever. Exterminate organisms from the Cal City Guard. This is the Cal City Guard. Our city is now occupied by giant organisms that look like termites from Kingsfield 2J. I don't even know if organism is right, but I've never seen anything like him before. The things are extremely fierce and attack anything that moves. Our citizens have suffered many casualties from the animal horde. We have no way of fighting back. A biological analysis of their behavior patterns shows a social structure much like that of ants or bees. <laughs> there must be a queen somewhere that directs the swarm. Or like termites? Or like ants? I mean... We did fight a lot of ants in Elden Ring. Investigators found an unfamiliar hole in the wall. Oh, this is Kingsfield 2J as heck. <laughs> in a wall in the office district. So this might be the beast's nest. Your mission is to find and destroy the queen with a bow and arrow from the doorway. If you can take out the leader, the swarm will become disorganized and we can take it from there. We're counting on you. I love you, FromSoft. I love everything. <laughs> Alright, the next one is... Repel enemy attack from Murakuma Millennium for 32,000 credits. Zero advanced. Recently, our transport blimps have been attacked one after another. We don't know what they want. The blimp is always shot down, so the target is probably not the payload. Perhaps they are simply intending to interrupt our operations at someone's in instigation. Instigation? That, is that a word? Scr Scrabble. Scrabble nerds. Do you, is that a word? We could provide full-scale escorts, but this risks marring our reputation. Thank you, work. <laughs> These incidents have not gotten out to the public, so we want you to ride secretly in the blimp and repulse the attacking group. Note that we expect the battle to be fought on the blimp, so be careful not to fall. Gravity wins... Every time. Theater of Operations, the transport blimp. Really? Are you serious? Murakumo, are you really going to... Have you not watched Echo Knight 2? So, here's... This is... This is a plot uh, mission. Like, very nakedly a plot mission. Um, Murakumo Millennium. 5,000 credits, which is a pittance considering we're at like 30,000, 38,000 credits. A subject from the plus, next generation experiments, quote unquote, has escaped from the lab. We cannot divulge any details, but a certain experiment seems to have adversely affected the mind of a subject. An eyewitness said that that subject is completely deranged. An ex raven. He ran amok with his AC in the city, mowed down a guard detachment, and ran away above ground. We found him in an abandoned skyscraper in the old city. If we leave the situation as is, we don't know when he will start running amok again. Go to the skyscraper now and destroy him and his AC. We regret having to resort to such measures, but there is nothing else we can do. The footing is very poor at the site. So if you enter in combat, be very careful not to fall because gravity will win every time. When he escaped, he took a prototype AC part with him. You don't have to return the AC part. If you find it, it's yours. We're counting on you. Um, so on that, remember... As, as Acer said in his video, as I think Sophie said in her videos, um, it, it's a bit weird in a game that does have PvP, but it's only 1v1 with um, friends, why there would be a ranking system in the game full of computer-generated things. Because this is also telling a story. And we got a mail... Uh, here from R who asks 
Are you aware of the Human Plus project? The Human Plus technology developed by Murakumo is an advanced technology whereby the organs of the body, mainly the nervous system, bones, and muscle tissue, are replaced with artificial enhancements, which give the subject abilities vastly superior to those of an ordinary man. People who have undergone this operation are called the Plus, the ranks of which include soldiers and bodyguards for VIPs. Rumor has it that several of the top-ranking Plus Ravens are also plus. It's worse than that, but whatever. However, the reason why Murakumo is supposedly an industrial manufacturer originally developed this technology is still a mystery even now. I'll be in touch. In a game where you never see a person, he'll be in touch. Sure, okay. Yeah, so uh, when Murakumo has been working on new exper experimentation, trying to obviate a raven so that they have their own army of ravens at their beck and call and don't have to pay for them. Which is, you know, very capitalism because you have people trying to replace labor with computer generated labor all the time. So Munokumo's trying to create their own ravens, but to do that they have to take a raven pilot, erase their identity, um, remove their bones and muscles and tissues and basically replace them with and make them a cyborg and uh, rob them of their very own identities so that they can become basically automatons. Remember, From Software is very into the idea of creating life. This goes all the way back to Kingsfield 1J where they, they love creating life um, and golems and this is a basically Armored Core's version of Golems. You become that, but you get to play it. Um, Elden Ring actually brings out automatons, which is kind of new. But it's kind of along the same lines. Because you also do have Golems, too. But yeah, Human Plus. Also, like I was saying, in one server is also probably the best way to frame what is essentially easy mode. Um, if you get more than 50,000 in debt and then fail your next mission, you will see a cutscene and be put into the Human Plus program without your knowledge. The names that you have created for yourself and your AC have been erased because your identity has been erased. Um, but like I was saying, it, it makes things a lot easier because you get a lot of boosts that you wouldn't get normally. Even though you have to restart the game. Um, but it doesn't shame you for it. doesn't make you wear a ridiculous chicken hat. Like in Metal Gear. It doesn't shame you for needing to take um, an easy mode. It doesn't even call it an easy mode. It doesn't even call it a casual mode. It doesn't use any of that at all. It's just part of the story. And it is a hidden part of the story that makes things easier for people. While not really drawing attention to it and weaving it into the narrative rather than it just being you know a select on a menu very probably the best way to frame quote an easy mood like like i said doesn't shame you for it doesn't make you wear anything silly to say hey i'm using easy mode you don't even have to choose it as easy or casual or normal or whatever mode it's just a thing that ha that is part of the game and it is a central part of the game's narrative. And it's probably the best way to put together an easy mode anyway. So, yeah. Um. So I think I saved it, but I'm, I'm going to save it again because I'm paranoid. So that's it for me today. It's already 8.30. And I've got to wrap up for the night still. So thank you guys so much for joining me tonight for a very quick session of Armored Core 1. 
I think we're finally making headway now. I'm finally comfortable with my build, I think. Um, now it's really just improving it. So thank you guys very much for joining me. And I will see you next time. Bye!